Hi hey everyone, I am back and today I wanted to show you some tips or tricks related to the wallpaper settings and the always on display settings on my S24 Ultra. So there have been few changes done versus the S23 Ultra. It's not anything major but it's like more quality of life improvements. So let me show you what are the tips and tricks. So first of all you need to go into the wallpaper settings. So there are two ways to do that. One is the you know standard way. You go into settings, you search this wallpaper in style and you make any tweaks and changes. There is another shortcut. You just pinch into zoom, wallpaper style. You directly go into the wallpaper and style settings. I am sure everybody who uses a Samsung phone knows this. Now uh, I want to show you what changes have been done versus S23 Ultra. Now you go to this. So this featured section was always there. I am not going to that. This gallery section was always there. Now this creative section. This is the new section that has been created. There are two parts to it. Generative and photo ambient. By default you will only see the generative part. Photo ambient is switched off in settings. I will show you how to enable it in a bit. So first I wanted to show you what is this creative setting. Go to creative. So you will see there are a bit, uh, few already generated wallpapers. Okay. Now it's not that you are only stuck with these wallpapers. You actually can customize these. So let's go to this terrain wallpaper. Now you will see th there are few options here. So it's realistic mountains in shades of green. This is sort of like uh, they have worded this wallpaper in text. So what you are looking at the uh, at uh, the screen, looking uh, what is there on the screen, you can see it in the form of text. Now you can change that. So let's you can see that these words are highlighted in some sort of a white box. So let's click on realistic. So it gives you option to change surreal and realistic. So let's click on surreal. You see that the wordings have changed here in this text. Let me generate. It takes a few seconds to apply the changes. So let's give it some time. And it has changed. So the wallpaper has changed and it gives you a few different variations of the change settings. Now I can even make further changes. So currently you see sort of a mountain range shown in all these uh, wallpapers. I click on mountain and then it will show you quite a lot of options. So you can select cliff, glacier, salt lake, beach, etc, etc. So let me change that. Let's select volcano. So you can see again the wording has changed. And I want to change the color also. So instead of green, I will select maybe brown. Then I will click on generate. So it will generate the wallpaper based on the wording surreal volcano in shades of brown. You see now it's completely changed and looks amazing. So let us go ahead and set maybe this fourth one as my wallpaper and lock screen. Click on next. Done. Voila. So this is my new wallpaper and this is my lock screen. So this is how you can customize your wallpaper. Now let us go to that wallpaper and style screen again. Now what you can do is that you can click on this and as I mentioned that you can place widgets now on the screen and you can change it. So if you click on this calendar, you can remove those. And you can select any of these. So it's limited widgets that you can see on the screen. But you have the option to select anything. So that will change the widgets you see on the screen. Okay. You can even customize the how the time is shown. So if we select uh, this calendar, it will show you like a calendar. So I think this uh, was always there in uh, the previous S23 Ultra and S22 Ultra also. So this was one of the things that I wanted to show you. Now the other thing that I wanted to show you is the second part. So in the creative, as I mentioned, you can see something called photo ambient. 
Now first I will show you how to enable this. This is not enabled by default. So let's go back to settings. Scroll down, scroll down, go to advanced features. Now you know Samsung has a setting called labs where they put in their experimental features. So click on this and you can see photo ambient wallpaper. So photo ambient wallpaper uses advanced intelligence to change your own photo based on the time and weather. So what it does is that based on the outside weather, it will show you whether it's raining or snowing in the wallpaper itself on the lock screen itself. So it is still, I think it's in lab, so it's still under development. So, but it still shows a uh, few weather conditions like snowfall and rain. You click on this and you enable it. Okay, so I had already enabled it. You can read through these uh, text if you want. So now again, let me go back to wallpaper uh, setting and then show you how it actually works. So go to this change wallpaper now you cannot apply this photo ambient settings on your current wallpaper you need to click on this then it will take you to your camera gallery so basically you cannot apply it on your any of the pre-installed wallpaper if you have taken any picture then you need to select that and it will apply on that so it generally it works better or if there are people in the picture but it also works like of on landscape pictures and inanimate objects. So for the sake of showing you, I will just select uh, a picture with me and my wife. So this is a picture. Now you will see this sort of uh, play button on this. So if you click on this, it is, you know, you can see some AI stuff is happening. And I don't know whether it's visible or not. It is raining and the water, and now it is snowing so it shows you like what kind of uh, you know wallpaper you can expect and how it looks when there are different weather conditions so i will just show you again and also the cool thing is that if rain is falling it is also falling on the top of our heads and in the background and same for the snow so it actually uh, analyzes the image and makes it seems like the raindrops or the snowfall is actually happening in real time so i will just click on done now it has applied so it's on the lock screen yep and yeah one more thing i wanted to add this photo ambient thing does not work on the uh, wallpaper i mean the home screen because it, you can see it's still the previous one it's on the lock screen Now currently, of course, it's not raining, so it will not show you any rain or snowfall. Alright, now there's another thing I wanted to show you related to the wallpaper and always on display. So go to setting. So, of course, you go to lock screen and AOD. Now my always on display, I just turned off. So I will turn it on again. I will click on always on display. So, they, again, here also there are some new settings. So show lock screen wallpaper. Now what does it mean? Let's see. You see this has changed this lock screen. If I switch it off, it's just a black background with the calendar. If I switch it on, it's uh, the image of me and my wife. So it is actually like iPhone because iPhone also introduced this. So it's not always a complete black background and with just few widgets on for the always on display. You can have the whole wallpaper also. So let's see how it looks. This is how it looks and this actually uh, they change the brightness or reduce or increase depending on the ambient light. Alright, so again what you can see when to show so currently it's always now you can change it to auto show all the time unless your phone detects that it's in a dark place such as a purse pocket or dark room which is very useful to preserve battery. So, of course, you don't need an always on display if the phone is in your pocket or, you know, it's uh, kept like this. So, you don't need always on display for that. So, actually, it's a very useful thing. So, I have just kept it at auto. You can, of course, change it to always show, tap to show. You can set a schedule to show it 
or you can set it for new notification so of course the always on if you kept it the setting to always then it will be on for 24 hours and of course that is the maximum battery then that will happen on your phone all right so moving on to the next thing all right so now there's another setting that i wanted to show you which is called the erase background so as i showed you just now so you can enable the always for show lock not always i mean show lock screen wallpaper so you enable this then this setting also gets enabled erase background now currently i have switched it off but if you switch it on you see the uh, lock screen has changed so it's a very cool feature so basically if you don't want you know the background to be visible you only want the image of the people to be visible then this is a very cool feature to have and it is mentioned that it shows the main subject of the photo only so it of course works best with people or animals as the main objects so again this is a very cool feature provided by samsung now again i will go to this wallpaper click on this now this again something called frame and effect so if you click on frame so actually this thing changes into you know different framing options see you can move this picture around you can put it in different frames so again it's a very cool feature you can customize it as to your liking so let me just select one of these so yeah and you can even customize the background color so currently it's sort of like greenish sort of color you can change the color you can probably and here also you can erase the background within that frame so currently you can see this uh, tower bridge is still there you can erase that background so it's completely white so it's a nice feature to have see i like this uh, color combination and let me see which one right here this one yeah it's nice let me select this one and i click on that okay now you can see so it's very like it has reduced the brightness of this to preserve battery but yeah double click on it and it shows it like this so again this is the new change that samsung has done and hope i was able to you know clarify things or queries related to how to change the photo uh, wallpaper settings etc so i just worked it out myself like exploring in the settings and how to do stuff so if you please like and subscribe this video i will be very uh, appreciative of you and i will try to post some few more tips and tricks which i find useful from my side and i will uh, you know try to help you out so please do like and subscribe and keep watching my videos thank you